Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Carly. And I'm Edge. And today we're watching Hunter Hunter episodes 102 and 103. Killer was replaced gone with an octopus. And look, I <laughs> the octopus might be slightly more loyal than gone. No. Hey. Uh... <laughs> it's a joke. It's a joke. <laughs> Everyone relax. But no, I I could be right. Yeah, Killer was in a bad way. Uh, he's, Very bad way. Yeah, someone's just played darts with his body. Yeah, literally. And um, he's going to a secret doctor. You've got Gon, who's with the chameleon right now. Knuckle and shoots with Chitu. And Netero's taking a shit. I don't know. I don't know what he's doing right now. We saw him a little bit in like episode 99 or 98. And he was uh, looking lit. He was looking lit. He's keeping everything under wraps. He's going to surprise us, I'm yeah. sure. So we'll probably wrap up these, let's just say, low-level fights, so then we can get into the real fight. If you guys are interested in signing up to our Patreon, you'll gain three to four weeks of early access to our current shows, and you'll also find reactions that are exclusive to our Patreon. If you're interested, you can check out our link in the description below. But anyway, should we get into it? Let's get into it. Yeah, not the potential lung cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Is he just showing him what he can do or is he ready to fight? See there the whole time. Yeah. Okay. At least it's Shit. limited to a small time period. It's more of a defensive move. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gon's learning something every day. <laughs> Did he lie to him? He's probably lied to him multiple times already. You should see some of uh, some of Gon's other friends, man. Like, you met. What's her name? Palm. <laughs> oh dear. God confuses himself more than anything. Yeah, I know. It's like he knows that he's trying to finesse Gon. But doesn't want Gon to be finessed because he might think he's a little bit cute. Uh. <laughs> like he's confused. He doesn't know what he's doing. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Gon always gets his way. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, for goodness <laughs> sakes. <laughs> this guy's <is> too much. <laughs> Aww. Peggy. I don't think he cared about Peggy. I also thought Peggy was a female, but that's alright. They're going to show a cute flashback, aren't they? Peggily. Peggily? Peggy tickling him or something. Ooh, 
raised? What? What memories does he have? There's a bit of a revelation here about Peggy and him. Mm. Oh. oh, shit. Oh, that makes so much sense. Yeah. Even I kind of trust him now. <laughs> oh, you are right about the vicious beast. I did not see any of this going this way. There, we've got like two chimera ant friends. Yeah, And then there's cult as well, but... I wouldn't say he's like a friend. Oh, oh no, no, he's going to rip off his arm. He touched him. He's not a friend! I didn't say that. I didn't say that he's a friend. I thought he was dodgy from the moment I, s I seen him. Oh. <gasps> What's he doing? He's sharing his nan. You know, I trust him. Wow. Did he just power him up? What kind of looks like him? Hey! Bad for the environment. <laughs> Bad for the bird. <laughs> yeah, you can share it. Wow. That is such a good technique. Yeah. Does it work both ways? Won't be that easy. The Meruem's built different, but... This is great. I mean, it was not part of the plan to befriend two ants and get their techniques. Well, Gon doesn't like that. No, because he was associated with them. Yeah, but he doesn't want that to happen to him. Oh. Okay, yeah, it won't work the same. You think he's leaving crumbs? Mm. No, he's won me over. <laughs> That probably means he is leaving crops. From that information alone, you can trust him because he needs. It's true. Yeah. He needs someone like Gon. Yeah, I was just thinking like, so then why would he want to tell Gon that information? But it's fine. We can trust him. Oh, wow. <laughs> I love Knuckle, man. You guys are legend. Oh, wow. That was a cool shot seeing him sit sitting up there, mm. protecting everyone. What's he doing up there, man? Wow. That, ooh. Oh, I just got chills. Oh, he's meditating. You don't even want to know what Killer is doing right now. Hopefully he's getting patched up. By the exotic squid. We're doing something with the cigarettes. I don't know what. Oh, oh no. <laughs> He's just been playing games. Oh no. Oh, don't show it. Oh. oh, is that it? He's just flexing. Okay, I see. 
Oh, you're an idiot. He's scared. He's scared. Yeah. He will make you do some crazy shit. He's just trying to test his, I don't know, knowledge and skill amongst He's the bored. best. He wants to be entertained. No, but I think he wants to also test himself. So he seems genu you know, genuinely interested in it. Oh, no. He's going to die regardless. These poor NPCs. Oh no, that's going to be the worst eight hours of his life. This guy's crazy, man. He's literally like perfecting himself. Ten games it took him. He's going to win at every game he... Attempts. Wolf is a kiss ass. I mean, he's the king's guard. He's meant to be. Yeah. Maybe the author created it. I like with the card game. Yeah. Like on Great Island. Get him in here right now. Looks like an interesting... Is it a child? Are they blind? That seemed like a big sort of character yeah. that's come in, right? Maybe Meruem won't be able to beat this person. It doesn't look like it. And then this character will be of more importance. Oh shit. Do we want to get a tissue? This character is 100% going to stick around. Yeah. I don't know, it might be the, the king's sidekick or some shit. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, she's too cute to be killed off. What? I don't know, Carly. That's some, um... She's a cutie! I'm not saying she's not cute. I'm saying she's too cute to be killed off. They don't care. That's true. They will kill whoever. That's true. Stop breathing. Oh, no! Oh my gosh. Can we get her a tissue? Oh, I was going to be a big build up up there, man. Oh no. What? She doesn't like the boogers. Oh, she's locked in. She completely changed. Because? Maybe it helps her focus? Interesting. Wow. Yeah, even he was like startled. Did you see his yeah. face when she opened it? I reckon this is the first time he's ever had like fun or is going to have fun. And so he'll, he'll keep her around. That's what I'm saying. I think she's going to challenge him and she'll keep winning. Yeah. Funny and true. Just wait till he finds out you're like a lizard. He'll love you forever. <laughs> yeah, but they're cutie pies. We had the same sort of impression. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, I knew something like this was going to happen. He has. <laughs> He's got to be one of the most likable characters in this show. Yeah. 
I was judging you, don't worry. <laughs> He's crying, isn't he? <laughs> He's crying yeah, too! Yeah, but he knew, th knew this would happen! <laughs> this has really interested me, this. This pairing. Yeah. Ooh. Interesting. So she's not even warmed up yet. Mm. How is she that good this young? Maybe it takes a mind like hers to be really good at this game. He can't win. No, I bet it has though, surely. She seems so significant, you know, when she was introduced. Oh, he... He ended it. He couldn't deal with the suspense. <laughs> it's an art. Yeah, Pitot definitely took inspiration from Kite's clown. Yeah, I think so. He's our class in terms of speed for sure. Yeah, he'll do the same thing, try to surround him with the aura, but it won't work. Yeah. Because he already fell for that trick. What did he place on him? What the heck? Domain expansion. Oh no! He's got no chance at tag. And he's got that amount of time to do so until what? The muscles are weighing him down. You'd think eight hours is generous, but I don't think it is. You die from exhaustion. Does he just need a minute? <laughs> Okay. Maybe you'll try to infuriate him, get him to a... Uh... Yeah, get all close and in his face. I don't know. The Truman Show vibes. Mm. Oh, so it's quite small. Do you think Cheetu's figured out that Morals figured out what's going on? No. Nah. Is he gonna break it? Yep. <laughs> oh, okay, yes, figured it out. Yeah, that's what I wanna know. Oh, what? <laughs> Leaves it to the last minute. That was me during high school. <laughs> it's of patience. Mm -hmm. He's going to draw him in closer too. I want to see what Nov can do. I haven't seen too much of him. You know, he's got some cool techniques, you know, with the portals and all that, but... Yeah. 
匂いがつけのレンドで一気に形勢が変わった。Was she that good? Shit. He's rattled. He can learn a lot from her if he's smart. I th yeah, that's precisely what it's trying to do. It's not just about winning the game. So the plot thickens a little bit. We,、uh, we've met a new character. I, again, hate to do it, but I also love to do it. I'm going to liken it to Dragon Ball Z. I just am. It just reminds me of something, and I think they're doing the same thing here. Okay. And I'll go through it with you in a sec. Please. So I don't actually think you remember because it's a little bit of an insignificant episode. Whilst also being very significant, right? That doesn't make any sense. It wasn't a <laughs> very memorable episode. I know what、it. you mean. Okay. Anyway, click off if you want to watch Dragon Ball Z. Anyway, so、uh, this girl, I forgot her name already.、Uh, oh my gosh. Yeah. Is that with K? Did they say her name? I'm not sure. I can't remember. Anyway, this girl who plays. I forgot the name of the game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she's really good, right? The king can't win. m e r i w e m can't even win. He's not even close. No. And I think he, he finds value in that, right?、Mm -hmm. For the first time, he seems somewhat engaged and entertained with his existence. Anyway, I was talking about Dragon Ball Z. So in Dragon Ball Z, I don't know if you remember, in the Majin Buu、uh, saga, there was an episode where Majin Buu met a blind boy. And. Oh, I do. The, sort boy, of. the boy was. Sort of the first character that didn't look at Boo and shit himself, obviously, because he couldn't see、yeah. Boo,、uh, but showed Boo kindness and、uh, wasn't scared of Boo and almost in a way、uh, started changing Boo and his characteristics and、mm. everything like that. And I think the same thing's going to happen here. I don't think m e r o w e m will be good and turn out to be a good guy, absolutely not, but I think the king will start to change. His attitudes a little bit,、uh, will change his attitude a little bit. I think this will be the first time he actually grows fond of someone because this is the first one, even the King's Guards, he doesn't really care about them, right? He's just got them around because they're like babysitting him. They've been around for longer, they can point him in the right direction, just keep him in、yeah. the know, right? Yeah. This girl is the first interaction that I've seen with the King that's actually not exciting him, but challenging him. So、I think that means something quite significant. I don't agree with what you said, your first point about maybe she can have a good influence on him. I don't agree with that. Did Cause... I say that?、Uh, you... I said it just might change him a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it might、right? change him. I don't think it will. If anything, I think that she will help him see the flaws in his plan because、uh, in their last game that we just saw, he said, Oh, she's completely.、Um... My right side. Taking out my right side or something、mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. So, if anything, I reckon this is going to translate into his bigger plan and it's going to make him more aware of his surroundings、that's、and see the plot holes in his plan. Yeah, no, that's, that's fine. And I was thinking that up until just seeing his interactions and like mannerisms changed, he started smiling, he was doing all this weird shit, and he was like, Deep in thought, changing his face a lot rather than looking just bored and, yeah, you know, almost frustrated by his own existence. And he, remember, he thought he was perfect. He's been beating everyone very、mm. quickly, learning, developing. He can't win this. I, I don't think it would be as simple as him just realizing the flaws of his own plan and then that making him stronger. I also think at the same time, a connection will be formed. Yeah, he, he's already starting to connect. With I agree、her. with that. That the connection will be formed. Well, that, that's I, I what I said. Think, no, I don't think it's going to have any sort of I'm not saying he's gonna positive effect on him. I'm not saying he's going to start to tie up people's shoelaces and donate to the poor. I know. That's not well, what I'm getting at. I'm more saying, like, the way we've been introduced to him, he's literally like a robotic killing machine with no conscience whatsoever. I'm saying、yeah. it might change him a little bit. You know, it always just takes the one character. I don't know. I just. I saw so much similarity to Dragon Ball Z and Majin Buu.、Mm. That, was just, that was the vibe I got. 
Yeah, Boo was very different though. We won't go into Boo's character, but there was already something there to work with, I feel. like. Yeah, you're right. But then also, Meruem hasn't really been alive for that long. Mm. So Meruem's kind of just going off his instincts, right? He doesn't have that much experience with life. He hasn't been able to experience yeah. excitement necessarily. He's just kind of, um, he's sharpening his tools right now. I don't know. Seeing someone that's not scared of him as well. Yeah. That's another thing. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see, but I'm very intrigued by that. Um, I Same. thought there was, I thought there was a lot of talking in these episodes. There like was. A, a lot of talking, which sometimes the Nen can get over complex in my opinion even though it's fantastic and brilliant when there's so much going on with the plot yeah sometimes i just i i don't want to know exactly what moral's thinking about his nan and all that i don't know that that's just me that's just me being impatient at times but there was a lot of other stuff going on like they left the killer thing i don't think that's important yeah i wanted to see the doctor i, I wanted to see the exotic squid but <laughs> exotic squid. it's not happening <laughs> for me right there's a lot to enjoy about this arc and um you guys know i'll be honest with my criticisms when when they arise i just think that the pacing is interesting that's the word i'd use it's interesting because i feel like they're on something right they're following a plot point and then they just leave it out of nowhere when i feel like it'd just be easier to wrap up killua's thing straight after killua's thing right yeah you just had two episodes with Mm killua now if they decided that it's just insignificant that's different that's fine whatever okay like, we don't need to worry about the exotic squid. But <laughs> there was all that stuff. I just expected them to continue with that, continue with Gone. But now this, these two were, like, mainly about Meruem. Yeah. Okay. Um, I get what you're saying. Yeah, I just... The fluidity is the word that I'm looking at, right? Mm. Looking for. So that's fine. Moral's dealing with Chitu at the moment, and uh, he's just going to wait it out, mm-hmm. right? He's going to try to get him mad, draw him closer, get him to go away from his plan. I'd love to see how he's going to do that. Well, Moral doesn't think, uh, seem threatened. Like you said, the, I forgot what it's called, APR or something. I forgot what it was, but Knuckles thing weakened Cheetu anyway. So yeah. he's got speed, but, you know, and a decent little technique. But that's about it, really. So we'll have to see how that fight eventuates. Nov's probably going to be pitted against Leol. Leol. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking that as well. So that's happening soon. They got eyes everywhere. Yeah. The little mosquito or oh, dragonflies or whatever yeah. they are. I forgot. Was it Flutter? I think it was Flutter. Uh, that ant's starting to become a little bit of a problem. Yeah. With the dragonflies. I would love for him to be taken out because he can just like speak with everyone basically. Yeah. Telepathically. Yeah. And let them know who's where. Yeah, you got to bra- fly and he can. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. And he's got minions. So you got to break down that yes. communication ASAP, I think. Now, I was trying to work out because I- I'm sure like the author is quite. Oh, he's very clever with his nuanced writing, right? So I was trying to think whether or not the game, Gunji, I think it's yeah. actually called, yeah, Gunji, that Meruem was playing, he was talking about, um, like, sort of the territory battles and all that sort of thing. I'm trying to think how that will influence his plan or how he perceives incoming threats and stuff like that. I was trying yeah. to think, think about specifics. Can't work it out, but I'm sure whatever he's learning with this girl will translate, like you said, very specifically, though. Yeah. I wonder how specific. Maybe he will die because he's left his right side open. Who knows? Yeah, like stuff like that. That's what I'm trying to think. Yeah. I'm trying to think about where they're, they're going to take the... They're definitely going to connect it. They'll connect the something. Maybe something will happen and then we'll think his back's against the wall and then he realizes something that this girl taught him in the game and then that gets him out of a scenario, something like that. I'm yeah, trying to theorize whether or not that's going to happen. I don't know how it ends for her, though. Is she only good for the purpose of playing this game? Well, this is what I was trying to discuss with you. If, if in fact, he's changing, and let's say he's growing, he won't just discard of her like the others. Because I'm trying to establish there's definitely a difference between her and then the others that he's just gone and killed, like they specifically yeah, showed it. Yeah, but if he keeps her, then it's going to be for the purpose of her critical thinking. Yes. Like I can't see him being like, okay, like I'm actually sort of like... Even if it's, like, deep, deep, deep down. Like, I'm sort of fond of this girl. I want to, like, not kill her for once. Mm. You're trying to think how maybe it could be something like he's in a pickle. He translates that into a, a game with her. Maybe he tries she to depict it. Yeah, or something. Yeah, she kind of triggers things for him. Mm. 
Because he's a very fast learner, so... Or maybe she just dies next episode. It could be that, but the, the way they introduced her was very significant. The way they introduced Kite was pretty significant. Yeah, but he lasted 10 episodes, and he's still around in some capacity. <laughs> so... You know that's not true. It's a little bit different there. So at the end of episode 102, the narrator actually says, the king has no idea how, the, how this girl's about to influence his fate. This is what I'm trying to theorize yeah. on. Like we're kind of in, we're, we're on the same page, but we're not. So it's like, is she going to influence him characteristically or just open up his mind to a plan that can help protect his kingdom? Like, I think it could be a bit of both is when yeah. I'm landing. That's Influence where I'm like his thought process. I think changing his instincts and thinking more critically, maybe. I don't know. Well, she'll be oblivious to everything else that's going on too. And I think she'll remain pretty oblivious. Mm, well, obviously, yeah. obviously she can't see, but like even, even just being sheltered in general. Yeah. Like where are they going to keep her? Where is she like, they're, they're kind of just going to take her as, as they please. I don't, yeah, I don't know. I don't know whether or not she will be an important character in the fight or if it's part of the preparation because there's still some days left. So we had Melamelian. Melmelian. Melon, yeah. Melian. Yeah. And that was interesting. I did not trust him at the start. I did not trust him at all. Yeah, that was a bit of a twist. But then he hit us with the story of Peggy, Mm. who was apparently his foster father in the human world. There was more of a connection there. It was interesting. And then I trusted him. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh no. I got to apologize. I was a little bit distracted by the um, dialogue there. I couldn't work out whether or not I trusted him or not, because then he he started going on a spiel about how it's imperative that certain people don't know. And then I'm thinking, well, then why would he trust gone? Blah, blah, blah. But yeah, I think he's, he's fine. So we've actually got a couple of ants now um, changing allegiances and, it's always guided by their human memories, which is interesting, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is interesting. It's their humanity that shies away from this yeah. disgusting monster that yeah, the king exactly. is. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's right. The part that I find ironic is a lot of the times the ants are finding the inhumane parts about the humans that they're fighting. Like he was calling Gon a monster and all this, mm. you know, stuff. You know, it's ironic the way they kind of write that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, now, speaking of Gon, I just wanted to break down something that he said before. I fully expected when Gon found out that Melon, Marmillion, um, betrayed his comrades, that that wasn't going to fly with Gon. Because Gon's, like, very headstrong in that. Do not betray your friends, your friends and comrades. Yeah. But th- I guess he then explained that they killed people and stuff like that. But I don't know. I thought that was part of Gon's code. You know? Well, I think because he said they were killing people behind his back. Yeah, and he, then gave, he realized he, gave and then it he a was pass. like, oh, whatever. They're just like, nothing to me now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think he gave it a pass because of that. Okay. That's acceptable. Gon also trusted the humanity that he could sense in him too. Yes. Gon would trust a, a snake. You know what I mean? Gon would trust. As long as they promised him that they weren't going to betray him. Yeah, I don't know. But it's a cute little team up. It is, isn't it? Yeah, I don't mind it. I think the arc needed that. It needed some people. It needed some ants to go to the other side. And yeah. it needed a bit of a switch up, in my opinion. Yes, because we need more allies. Mm. And then we got, we had that shot. Was that in this episode of Netero? Mental. Oh, yeah. I got so hyped. Oh, my They're going to be my favorite episodes. I know. It looks insane. Yeah. They're going to be my favorite episodes of the um arc, for sure. I know it. Oh, when he starts cooking, definitely. it's over. Definitely. Yeah, I, I want to just touch on that quickly. I love the respect that a lot of Japanese authors have for the elderly, okay? I, I'm big trope in anime and mangas and stuff like that. There's always a really strong sensei. Mm. All the time, the old, the oldest character is often the strongest or, yeah, very strong, the original teacher or the wisest. I just like it. I feel like they show respect. I don't I don't know if it's just a trope, but I feel like it's also a respect thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, I love it too. I notice it quite a bit. It just, it hits you. It's like, it's like, oh yeah, he's returning to his good old days. He's like his yeah. pride. Yeah, that's right. That's, that's why it gets you so hyped. Yes. It's like, you know, when this character was young, he was messing some shit up. Yeah. And he still can. But you know, like things are pretty real if they have to, you know, power up now, like. 
Yeah. Things are intense. Yeah, he's just been meditating. I think that's what he's going to do. He's going to power up for... I think he's um, manifesting the sun. He's doing something. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching our reaction. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. It would really help us out. For early access to all of our reactions, you can support us on Patreon if you'd like. And yeah, thank you so much again. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.